Start wearing purple, wearing purple. Start wearing purple for me now. All your sanity and wits they will all vanish. I promise. It's just a matter of time. Can you uh, tell me you were you were in Brazil prior to this, right? And uh, how long were you there? Uh, Six weeks. Six weeks. Did you live there in some? I don't know. Did you travel or live there? Or? Yeah, I traveled to um, Pernambuco, to Recife and Olinda, and besides Rio, where it's just, where it's, where, which is the main base. It's an amazing place. It's an amazing place to experience carnival, you know. Not the carnival you see on a TV, which is also amazing, but that's a big production. <laughs> it's a lot more uh, interesting, I thought, to see uh, raw power, no production carnival in the poorer areas of Brazil, where it's all entirely based on people's enthusiasm and uh, just their own. You know, love for their culture, for the way of their lifestyle. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we can expect some Bra Brazilian publicity. Mm -hmm. I, I heard that some of the new songs are. Yeah. Um, well, it would be hard not to. Yeah. Of course. Uh, it's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty there. Yeah. It's just you can't leave Brazil. You can't go to Carnival and walk out without. I heard that you uh, are planning to release a new DVD, uh, Gogol Bordello Nonstop, right? Uh, oh yeah, it's a, it's a documentary that's uh, directed by a uh, girl, Margarita Gemini from Colombia and uh, it's just uh, kind of a, I think, retrospective of, of uh, our development, you know, from basically playing on a street with acoustic guitars and going on and on in different formats and venues and galleries and starting touring. Yeah, it's a kind of, a, you know, the making of Gogol Bordello. The making of Gogol uh, I, like I think it would be a more accurate title, yeah. <laughs> it's not like an uh, extended version, uh, extended uh, hand of uh, pipe, uh, pipe, Piper of Hatswain, right? No, it's a very different documentary. It's more about the band and, and not about the roots of the band. It's more about the actual progress of A, B, C and stages of development. Talking before to, uh, to other people, you said that you started like DJing in, in that Bulgarian bar, and so uh, so uh, I, I heard that uh, JUF is uh, is going to have another uh, another new album, right? Can you tell me something about it? But you know, sure. I mean, the uh, thing is that JUF always had new albums. It just never was released because I don't really care about releasing it. It was. Uh, it's kind of tracks that Oren, our guitar player, and, and I, or somebody else who wants to collaborate, do, and I use them when I DJ. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for releasing them. Yeah. Why does everything need to be such a product? No, no, you know, I, I uh, I'm pretty satisfied when I just play them, and uh, I know people want to buy it, but it's like, I don't want them to buy it. <laughs> I just want them to enjoy their life and keep it special every time. I don't have the time to make it an album and uh, yeah. make it a package and, and discuss a deal. I have so many things that already require that. And the main one is a Gogol Bordello, you know. And there's, you know, you, you get involved with film production or something like that. It's tons yeah. of 
tons of production things, and paperwork, and all these things. It's like I don't want everything I do to be that process. I just want to some, just make it and play it. That's all. Yeah. That's uh, I'm perfectly fine and at peace with that. And uh, the new incarnation of JUF is uh, Mititika. It's uh, just an electronic project with a Romanian girl and singer and a dancer. You know, she's never been on stage before in her life. Uh, she's amazing. So maybe that will become a record. Maybe it won't, but it's already great. Planning to uh, direct your own. Yeah, I, I read it somewhere. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's uh, true. I think it's gonna be kind of a spaghetti eastern. Uh, I was a huge fan of uh, some epic spaghetti westerns. Uh, there's a lot of bad ones as well, but the, the ones of the best are the best, you know. And uh, and. Uh, I have my own spin and ideas on that, and um, I don't know maybe I watched too much uh, Goyko Mitic in, uh, <laughs> in childhood, but who didn't? <laughs> yeah. Who came from here? Um, so, which was such an interesting thing to do. And I mean, they basically took uh, you know, American genre and turned it into entire American movies, <laughs> where all the white guys are the worst guys. And, which is kind of basically the truth of the history of the states. So, anyhow, going back to it, I have my own ideas of how to make it, and I have people behind me who want me to make it as well. So, it's probably going to be on its way in two years or so, after we make another album and a bit more of a touring. You my translator? Yes, I'm Alexander Perchel. I'll be your humble translator. I implore you to forgive my speaking of English, John Fan, as I'm not so premium with it. How about new album? Is it uh, Sideband Dummy again or, or some other label you don't know yet? I don't know. Mm. It's an interesting time to find out. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming out in... Uh, in Sideone Dami has been amazing throughout mm -hmm. our whole time of working with them and, uh, you know, when it makes sense, it makes sense. It made a lot of sense. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, we basically, if you would meet everyone we work with, from bookers to agents, uh, our whole team is somebody who is been around together for a while. It's a very family-driven kind of operation altogether. And uh, it's also built it on characters who are all essentially punk rock people. Yeah. You know, and uh, whoever is not never seems to last. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> for sure. It's made from people who know how to take a nail and a mm. hammer it in with it. <laughs> yeah. with, with, you know, there is no, uh, there is no big talking. Like there is no VIP allowed here. Do you say uh, you're a spiritual person, right? Or, or, or um, you well, know, punk rock a, is not the kind of a word coming. that's misused so often that yes. you always think, I don't know if that's the best word, but maybe, for, yeah, for a lack of a better word, I feel pretty spirited. Uh, these are actually all presents uh, mm -hmm. from uh, Roma, from different countries. Mm -hmm. from. Uh, my Roma from Ukraine to mm -hmm. ones who live in France, mm -hmm. in Brazil, in States, in uh, Oslo and uh, Norway. So that's just uh, 
patrons, uh, St. Christopher there, Kalisara, mm -hmm. uh, all the patrons of the mm -hmm. Travelers and, Would and you say Romanis. Yo, Backpack Rockers, here we come, backpacking all the way down from New York City to your joint, which is, you know what that means, right? That's the name of the singer from Bad Brands. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>